Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Thomas. Today we're back here with Nostalgia Critic, and today, well, we got ourselves a cartoon crossover we never thought we'd see. Batman versus Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yep, Team NT is going to the Batman world. <laughs> we've seen it in the comics, and now we got a movie about it. Shall we, shall we see? I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm fucking my words up. Be sure to like, subscribe for more, hope you enjoy. Here we go. This episode brought to you Ugh. by ExpressVPN, the best VPN there is. Take back your online privacy today. We go. Fiction 101 is in session. I trust you think? all brought your homework. I'm sorry. Why is this mandatory Why are we doing this? again? Yeah, it's not like the internet is short fan fiction. What some of them have me do with Pocky is just well, not I don't know. Well, as people who analyze nostalgia, it's important to understand the creative process from the people that we critique. So writing for fictional characters will make us understand others who write for fictional characters? Exactly. What? Your husband wreaking bombs in our heads while we sleep might play a part too. Hey, if my little head slicer says something is mandatory, it's mandatory. Where the hell are you anyway? Oh, humanity has come back in time to stop us from becoming them. It raises a lot of complex questions about the ethical responsibilities of... What's this have to do with anything? We need a time travel joke for later. Huh. Speaking of which, Muffin Top, did you finish your Star Wars fan fiction? I'm kind of loving it! Lemon Pudding, we had an agreement! Oh, you're right, I Crusher. Hold on, let me get my phone. Ah. Uh... A young person living alone in the desert finds a droid. The droid has information to defeat the army of bad guys, and a wise mentor from the past helps get the droid to the army of good guys. Mother. Well, I'd hate to critique you, Cherry Ice Cream, but that's just the original Star Wars story. Oh, God, you're right. Clearly I've been lazy and not focusing on what's important. Well, email me what you have, and I'll look it over. Got it. Oh, and don't worry, Benny. I'll get to yours after I read his. I can hardly wait. You don't have to be sarcastic. No, that was me showing genuine excitement. <sighs> That's the thing. The world of fan fiction doesn't exactly have the best reputation. Okay, no depends on the story. The spice hungry housewives. Fan fiction is seen as both so corny and so cheesy. You'd swear Wisconsin and Illinois had a love child. And there's fan fiction about it. But sometimes <laughs> there's professional writing that reads like fan fiction, and it's not always a bad thing. You know what I'm talking about, the films, books, and comics that are super fan y but also give exactly what people are looking for. They usually oh. combine elements we all want to see and utilize them sometimes better than massive productions with tons of money behind them. With that said, one of the most fan fiction -y things ever written comes with a crossover I didn't even know I wanted, Batman vs. the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Yep. Two childhood icons meeting up. Based on the comic series from 2015, we've seen both these franchises on the show a lot. And full disclosure, mm -hmm. this is a spin-off that kinda sounds dead on arrival. I mean, we've seen both of them in so many crossovers, it's pretty easy to become bored. That was an hour fun one? I don't know yeah. anyone that was demanding this. When people shouted Freddy vs. Jason or Godzilla vs. Kong, was anyone screaming, oh, maybe something similar to Scooby-Doo meets Batman? Sure, that'll work. That'll work. <laughs> this film does what any good crossover should do, get you excited for the possibilities. When you actually think about the rules and characters both these worlds have and what you can take advantage of by combining them, it's surprisingly a match made in heaven. It's the perfect amount of ass-kicking weirdness and we're going to check out why it's so awesome here today. Shall we? Because let's face it, there's too many people who don't know how to do this stuff well. Cupcake batter, did you base this cute orange droid that everyone loves on me? I'm a hopeless romantic. <laughs> let's take a look at fan Fair service point. done right. This is Batman versus mm -hmm. the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We all and we have seen some bad fan service nowadays, but back then, oh boy. I'm actually kind of curious to see what's coming up, so shall we? in Gotham City, where the forecast calls for blimps and red, as a lab called Powers Respect. Industrial, who use a dyslexic version of the Riddler logo, show college student Barbara Gordon around. Hey, what's going on? <gasps> a 
okay, those are either bad stars or an amazing notepad. Mm -hmm. The Foot Clan attacked the lab, but are stopped by... Oh, judging by their silhouettes, the I'm gonna say Street Sharks. Those things, they were like lizard men or something. Really? They took the generator... Does she think I'm Batman? Wait, this might have its perks. Yep. Whatever they are, they're going to regret <laughs> stepping foot in Gotham. It drives me nuts, too, that I have no idea if that pun was intentional. Could if it be? was in this one, there'd be no question. Yeah, no. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't know this was a Sin City crossover as well. Though something yeah, about seeing the Nickelodeon logo kind of feels off. I keep Thank expecting SpongeBob to cutesy away the badass. Nick, I wouldn't be surprised if they did looking that. For security footage What's and that? Superman mug? We received a call from Commissioner Gordon. He's identified Wayne Enterprises as a likely target for another break-in. I told him we know as Wayne something is always at the center of a supervillain plot. His advice, ironically, was to dress up like Batman to scare them away. Yeah, honestly, I would be thinking that too. Like, I mean, at this point, like, dude, Batman, you gotta up your security. No offense, most of your stuff's been used for criminal activities, why not? I mean, heck. When Tony learned that his tech was being used for crime, he shut it down. <laughs> anyway, here come the turtles. Ew. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Couldn't. And neither could Schumacher. Oh! Hey -o! <laughs> Guess we should have a look. They did the thing count. There we go. It looks like the Penguin <laughs> also plans to attack Wayne Enterprises to get first whatever the new visitors are stealing. It's the Bat! I recognize his shell! So I gotta say, everyone looks pretty good in this interpretation. It doesn't look that bad. With the Turtles bad. thankfully having more differences in their designs than just color bandanas and weapons. The only thing that's a little odd is the shading on their packs. I don't know, it kind of looks like I'm supposed to play them like an ocarina. We're not aliens, though. We're turtles. Not the time, Donnie. It's always the time for accuracy, Leo. You wouldn't last two seconds <laughs> on Twitter. Yeah, you'd be well, roasted. Well, going on time. the foot attack inside, but Batman is there to stop them. Now, what does a ninja clan want with an experimental cloud seeder? Whoa. I think we can count that as the shit got real moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Even Batman was like... Rude. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Gotta admit, don't think you expect that one just circling right between the eyes. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, hey. First crossover fight we expect. Batman vs. Shredder. Here we go. Woohoo! Yep. <laughs> you picked the wrong battle, warrior. The voice of Shredder is pretty good, like most versions of him, but I'm not gonna lie, I always like to imagine Uncle Phil doing it. In my book, he's still the OG. <laughs> Greetings, my subjugated subjects. Who are you? And why are you? Will you shut up? <laughs> Imbecile hey, and competent. <laughs> Stop this tantrum and just tell me what's wrong. First. You never let me have any fun. The film immediately shows it has an understanding of what people want as it gives us a very badass True. battle between Batman and Shredder. Most of the fight choreography in this is really well done. <laughs> Shredder barely defeats him, which is pretty surprising so early on in the film. And escapes so he can heal up. Next time, I will not be so merciful. I have a brain in a robotic suit laying in a waterbed waiting for me. I like how Demon's both series there. mock the other for stuff that never made sense. Like, why on earth does Gotham City have blimps? Does New York have mad blimps flying around for no reason? I mean, like, what are they for? Yeah, that is pretty hypocrite. The only one that discovers still. the turtles and each assume the other's working with the Shredder. Another crossover fight. This fight is fun and well laid out, but there is one problem. Nothing's gonna top that Batman Shredder battle. You can have other fights, of course, but when the title battle is immediately after the coolest one in the flick, it's kind of like following up Hulk vs. Thanos with Plastic Man vs. Jar Jar. I guess Ew. I'm curious, but you blew your load a hint early. Yeah. It's Ninja Vet! Honestly, I think with that, I think I would have swapped it around a bit, but... I don't know. I guess they just wanted to get that fight out of the way so there would be a like, reason for Batman going out to Shredder. I don't know, but you can definitely feel a rivalry between the two. You know? 
Oh boy. Anyway, and it's time. Ninja turtles. I should hey, is that it? Jobs when that doesn't sound weird to me. <laughs> Raz al Ghul. We see Shredder is in cahoots with Raz al Ghul. Baxter. Again, these are perfect villains you want to see teamed up. And they've called upon Baxter Stockman to help them with their evil plan. Take Why is he still his yes, platform? it was probably their first choice to play him. Master Shredder, I trust you procured the Cloud Seeder from Wayne Enterprises. Obviously, without it, I can't finish the machine. That's right, David Duchovny. But he sadly had other obligations to let down. I do hope you and your little foot clan can live up to your reputation. Why not leave the messy details of conquering the world to me? Roz will trade his secrets of eternal life with Shredder's secrets of the ooze, and together they will construct a machine that will bring Gotham to its knees. Yeah, they even test the ooze on one of Roz's men. I am adorable! That is. Sneak into a closed internet cafe and do some research on their supposed bat foe. Come on, we don't want to be seen. Yep, number three. Meanwhile, yeah, that girl is brought up to speed about what they're up against. The Cloud oh, Seeder is. is the last piece of the puzzle, which is why I had to move it to a secure location outside of Gotham. Yes, there's nothing more safe than the seedy docks. Nothing ever happens there in Three, movies, two, comics, one, cartoons, and... crime You're a detective, right? Yeah. There we go. Turtles locate the Batcave pretty damn easily. I'm sorry, how'd you do this? I made a database of every reported Batman sighting and ran it through an algorithm that triangulated against the city's police record. Donnie, nobody cares. Right, this Ouch. does have Jeff Goldblum as the fly again. Hmm. And they decide to snoop around. I wind? guess I can technically count these all as one? <laughs> Also, uh, did anyone have a question the random Hawkman costume in there? Like, you saw that one, right? The red one? Just, uh... Putting it out, like... What the heck? I... Don't think that's a Batman thing. I mean, I think that's Hawkman? I, I don't know. You guys recognize it? I don't know. Like I said, if you know, you know, but... I'm just curious now. Anywho, I'm gonna see if I can access that big computer because it's beautiful. Imagine what OnlyFans will look like on this. Don't. I just see the signs of a dude with way too much time and way too much money on his hands. Uh, you're not gonna sell a thing if you keep talking like that. Mm hmm. Robin Shit. spots them though, and they have honestly the There's response Robin. I think most one people would have seeing Robin for the first time. Aww. It's okay, Larry says <laughs> fuck Batman to legitimize himself. Take that mask off! Now! What are you, five? How did you get in here? I actually like so, that Robin they mean is Wayne kind Batman, of a sour poison. This or... as Batgirl seems a bit more lighthearted, so having two optimistic sidekicks would have been a little much. So it's again, also just funny Wayne. to see okay. the turtles get their ass kicked by a 12-year-old. Hey, little guy. Jeez! Oh, We're not your enemy. We came to Gotham to stop Shredder and the Foot Clan. So, are we not gonna beat up these green losers? It's not looking like it, no. Yeah, for a film called yeah, Batman that or Tim versus Drake, I don't the know. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, there's only one fight between them, and at the one-third mark, they team up. In any other film, I'd call bullshit, but I do want to see them work together, and if they just get fighting throughout the whole thing, I think it'd get old. Yeah, they get boring fast. I think they just called it Versus to sell more copies, but honestly, I don't feel ripped off at all. As Shredder and Roz go... I mean, you ain't wrong. Like... There are a lot of movies that have verses, but they only usually have like one or two fights between the two, and then just boom, together. Like, you know, in Super Sentai, it's usually just sometimes one fight, sometimes they don't even fight at all. But yeah, I mean, to be fair, they are doing for good reasons, and good talk out, and boom, together. Oh, so, looks like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, like, I wonder how many films actually had them, like, fight off, like, so many times. Like, even in Godzilla vs. Kong, two fights. That's it. I mean, to be fair, they weren't antagonistic to each other until the very end with Mega Godzilla and, uh, the Scar King in the next game, you know, New Kingdom. But still, one or two fights. I guess they don't want to do, like, a full thing unless they're, like, one's evil, one's good. I mean, think about it. In a way, they're both good, so not really serving them if they just keep fighting each other. Anyway, but that's just me. What do you guys think? Oh, well, we're not talking Asylum, so let's see who Shredder gets. To the one place that, let's face it, you want to see them go. 
Ra's al Ghul means Batman, and I'm just dying for a rematch. I think and there's Pepper the Teddy. <laughs> up in the same film. What is Arkham a spa? How are they getting so many of these extra add-ons? Hi, mm -hmm. over here. Hmm. Uh huh. That's it. Just wanted to make sure my makeup wasn't smudging. Should she like that her makeup is smeared? Movie ruined. Yeah. Of course they want to meet up with the clown prince Joker. of crime, but we'll have to wait to see why because pizza. I offer to cook a gourmet meal, but they want pizza. Teenagers. I've killed I mean, God knows how many men. More. Yeah. This is my lowest point. <laughs> that girl and Donatella, meanwhile, try to make their own antidote for Shredder's mutagen. Ooze. We call it ooze. Really? Ugh, I do not like that word. Ooze. Blah, gross. It just sounds Seen so girls. moist. Hello? Can't fight crime without first partaking in a cheesy slice. This isn't the time for pizza. Besides, this is New York style. I'm a deep dish kind of guy. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's a bad say? signal. Robin, bad girl, let's move. What about them? There's no turtle signal. Well, then they really made a toy out of everything, didn't they? Yes, they did. Back at Arkham, the Joker literally hacks up his formula for his poison gas in exchange for... <laughs> <Here's again. laughs> if you're not getting hard thinking of the possibilities the Joker I'm can good. do with that hand over every comic you pretended to read... I don't even have a comic, which he breaks you. all the villains out, sprays them with the mutagen, and does so doing his best Danny Elfman impression. Nurse Harley Quinn? Hmm. Oh, fine, Dr. Harley Quinn. You damn straight! In the same way Bill Cosby is technically girl? a doctor. This scene also is Harley Quinn voiced by Tara Strong? I don't know why. Like, when I heard that, I'm just like, Bubbles? Like, I mean, I don't know why. That sounded like Tara Strong to me. Anyone else? Hey, caramba. And now I'm doing Bart Simpson again. God, what is up with me? Anyway, here come the animal forms. Alone should have you hyped up as hell. The Batman supervillains with the Ninja Turtle mutagen. This is absolute fan fiction heaven. Him. Speaking hmm? of which, Honey Biscuit, your fan oh, fiction is repetitive and safe, but you are sleeping with me, so I will give it a pass. That's fair. It's the exact opposite of fair. And Benny, oh. it's your job to continue Devil Boner's story. Well, I didn't like the direction he was taking the story at all. So, oh I did something different. Wait, can you do that? I killed off the villain, Zeal. created other subplots, and wrapped up everything except for one part. Hey, wait, come on, I gotta continue the story after you! I said I left one part. Now, Benny, you can't do that, okay? You can't just dismiss what came before, because you didn't like it. Why? It's a big trend. Is this trend like a jab at Star Wars now? now? Email it over and I'll take a look at it. Will the time it takes you to look that over include commercial and review time? Yes, that's exactly how long it will take. You're on a tight schedule. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, you ain't wrong, but god damn, man. I mean, I don't know where this goes, but jeez. Well, anywho, I'm for Batman to face off against some mutants. See what, what's what they turn into. I think I can guess what Poison Ivy is, but I'm not sure about the others. Gordon lights the bat signal and is introduced to the new crime fighters. What are those? Well, Dad, they're. Ugh, damn it! Kill them. He talks about Wait. how Arkham has been taken over by the villains and they apparently have that? hostages. As far as I can tell, there's no real explanation to how bro? the mutant yep. works in this one. I mean, in Fair. the cartoon, it combines with whatever animal you're around. In the comic, it makes animals more human. This, I guess we have to assume, is the out of the shadows logic. Ironic Gen. It's know. basically Ironic Gen. If you're obsessed with the cold, you're gonna be a polar bear. If Scarecrow's in your name, you're gonna be a crow. It's stupid in any reality. Except, Except here. this one. The idea of the Batman villains mutating into animals is one of the coolest things you could imagine in this universe because there's so much that can be done with it. Poison Ivy becoming a plant, amazing. Two Face mm -hmm. becoming a two-headed cat, sharing an eye, spectacular. Damn. Harley Quinn as a hyena is both hilarious and actually terrifying. I'd be laughing my Jeez. ass off if I didn't know I'd be sleeping with one eye open tonight. Wow, would you look at that? This second of her peeking also, her head Joker's around the, the corner cobra. is legit the last I mean, thing I, I ever want to see sense. peeking behind a corner. Like, I know. <laughs> the fights that come up. It's just me or 
Lord, did that look like Smile Dog? You know, that old internet horror thing? Yeesh, I don't know why, that just reminded me of that. Damn, I feel old now again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, why do I feel old? Anyway. A lot of this are just as creative, with Mr. Freeze as a polar bear attacking our heroes in the kitchen. Oh, I'm a little oh. busy right now! Always Coca-Cola! <laughs> that is so cool! I'll show you cool, child. How is it Mr. Freeze as a polar bear fighting a teenage mutant ninja turtle still has more dignity than one line out of Arnold as the same character? Yeah, it's Arnold. You expect anything else? Nice. Oh, they did get bad mm. nipples on him somehow. Hey! <laughs> There's also a pretty cool fight with Bane. A tiger. Your ass is grass! <laughs> <laughs> and even as mutants, they still rely on their old tricks, as Scarecrow uses his gas on Leonardo, showing his greatest fear. <laughs> oh! <laughs> There's a funny right. joke with Poison Ivy not being able to fight because her roots won't let her stretch far enough. Which again, could be seen as a letdown, but there's so much fighting in this movie, I think they <laughs> like, knew okay, if bye they bye. needed to cut a corner, this was a clever and funny way to do it. Better listen to- yeah, I mean, I admit, the Poison Ivy gag just, like, stuck. I'm gonna get it! Right, wait, no, wait, wait, wait! At least one, right! God damn it! <laughs> I can imagine that's what's going on there. Anyone else? <laughs> Sorry, just, and then Mikey just go like, bye-bye! <sighs> gotta love it. Gotta love it. <laughs> Do the bat, turtle boy. This all builds up to the Joker, who's transformed into a cobra. Which is a little fun. Odd. I feel I don't like know. there's a lot of better animals the what Joker could be, like a shark or a gator. You know, something with a lot of teeth. I mean, I did you see that. Harley Quinn hyena? <laughs> yeah, go away! Jesus Christ! I guess this is more disturbing though. Ew. And like that, a new genre of fetish was made. Please don't. And there's already fan fiction about it. Joker combines the ooze with his venom and ejects it into Batman. Strangely enough, turning him into a chicken. Well, bat. It's a bat. Come on. Who are you? I'm Man Bat. Donnie, catch! Donnie and Batgirl give him the anti mutagen and eventually stop Harley and Joker. Smile. <laughs> this is totally going on my Instagram. That's gonna get me discovered and arrested, but screw it. If the NC's cat can have an account, why can't I? Batgirl and I. Honestly, I can imagine Batgirl would have, like, an Instagram thing, but, I don't know. Like, I mean, I hope you don't, like, you, <laughs> ugh, sorry, I'm trying to, like, to find the right way of, like, I can imagine, like, superheroes nowadays would have, like, a social media account, you know? <laughs> what about you guys? <laughs> anyway. Found the surviving hostages in a room downstairs. All right. They're Come fine. On. Mostly. And now that we No, I need to know what no, mostly. mostly means. Like, our... Half of them butt people or something. Mostly is a very vague thing to say in this universe. The big surprise the docks was stuck. not a good place to hide something, as the penguin steals Wayne's device to give to Shredder and Ra's al Ghul. Our oh, heroes boy. discover that the device is going to combine Joker's venom with the mutagen and turn all of Gotham into an insane azulum. But Batman says he wants to stop them without the turtles because something something always alone. You four are impulsive and you don't follow orders. I want so? you out of Gotham. Have you Gotham. met your son? tough talk for people who just saved your life. Did yeah, he bro. tell his parents? You should have gotten out of the way of those bullets. Lazy dead asses. Sure, we make the wrong moves, but we can't get better if you don't trust us. <gasps> <gasps> Oof. What was that? The bad arm? What am I missing? I Honestly, this is the only section of the movie is that, that feels weak as this third act breakup seems kind of pointless, but it does fly by quick and I guess give a moment for the two most brooding characters to connect in some way. They get back to the good stuff pretty fast as they drive off to stop the villain's evil plan. The turtle van even puts on its 3D glasses, it's a little weird, but they I upgrade the pizza thrower in a pretty mean ass way. <laughs> what? Jesus! That's right, Donatello killed a man. Awesome. Jesus Christ. Good thing it wasn't Batman or we'd all go BOO! I don't get comic ethics. And. Oh. 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 They fly now! They fly now! 
this scene also has my favorite line, as Michelangelo constantly wants to push buttons in the Batmobile, but he's constantly told oh. not to. That is, until they get caught, and he's given the direct All order right, go to ahead. hit every button. Whoa. I've always wanted to hit every button. This should be medicine <laughs> to contain how Damien. much fun I'm having right now. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Damien. This whole chase is pretty great, and again, gives everything you'd want to see in the climax of a team-up like this. Woohoo! And then and some. A ninja dino. So on the one hand, I ask, why is there a dinosaur here? <laughs> but it's the beauty of the respect. With all the insanity we've seen, watching turtles That's what your clip had up, pizza man about. covers, riding motorcycles with Batgirl, launching bat fireworks, and fighting the island of Naboomboo, why wouldn't there be a dinosaur here? Oh, True. By the way, there's April's cameo. I'm uh, not sure what this is referencing to, but Jurassic Park. He launches the anti mutagen, though, causing him to shrink. Not that kind of shrink. Yeah, Ew. <laughs> As the villains arm their machine. Activate the machine. <laughs> this is a Jeff Goldblum impression. There probably should be less maniacal laughs and more maniacal uhs. Our heroes burst in, though, and all of them have worthy foes to take on. That is, except for Robin. I, I surrender. I'm basically a hostage. <laughs> Ew. You are a terrible weak. disappointment. Though not as big as <laughs> Tyler Perry. Hey. Hey, cool. Leonardo even gets over his fear of losing his brother, shown earlier, and uses Batman's advice to focus. And I learned this from a rat. Damn. Ooh, maybe I was a Wrong sentence. file. <laughs> Batman as well gets a chance to fight the Shredder once more. No tricks. No gadgets. Dude, you live in a thing called the Technodrome. That's like the world's biggest gadget. Mm -hmm. This next scene is so ridiculous, I kind of have no choice but to love it. Any last words? Cowabunga? Cowabunga. What? Cowabunga? Yep! Oh! It, it's not that Just Batman the cowabunga said cowabunga. <laughs> they reveal later that was the code word for the turtles to attack. It's the Shredder repeating it again. Yeah. What? Cowabunga? That's only said by party dudes. You're not a party dude. Oh! oh Batman does finally defeat the Shredder, resulting in him falling into a tub of chemicals. I think he did it just to annoy me. And the turtles stop the machine from destroying the city. Batman even joins them in a celebratory slice of pizza. Yeah! And you think the whole Batman killing using guns or sleeping with daughter figures was shocking? No, no. Here's the most controversial thing Batman's <laughs> ever done. Here we go. He folds his pizza. There is no excuse for this. A petition has already begun. Oh, and Are we the sure that's Shredder true? is alive. He's some sort of Joker hybrid. But clearly this is the Here. part of the ending to get the biggest reaction. I don't know. Batman I don't know versus the Teenage I, Mutant Ninja that. Turtles is one of the most satisfying crossovers I've ever seen. Is it fan service -y? Yes. Does it need to exist? Probably not. Are there any deep ethical dilemmas that a lot of great comic book stories have? Not particularly. But it's eh. the perfect amount of fun. It gives True. the audience exactly what it's looking for in the appropriate way. It would have been so easy to make this too goofy, but the tone, animation, and voice acting Definitely keep nice it grounded it in the serious Batman universe, which makes the comedy of the Turtles universe all the more enjoyable. Every main character has either a bond or an arc with another character, and it makes sense why they connect with who they connect with. The threats feel big and exciting, but it's also not afraid to have a good time. This is not a crossover that needed this amount of dedication, which is why I think it should be appreciated all the more. <laughs> this could have been just another Scooby-Doo meets Batman kind of thing, or an example of bad fan fiction given a budget, but they took the time to find that perfect balance between both franchises and satisfy both sets of fans. If you're a Batman person, a Ninja Turtle person, or especially both, this is surprisingly a kick-ass team-up to check out. Mm -hmm. Garbage! Oh, jeez, I thought it was pretty good. No, no, Benny's fan fiction. It's terrible! All I can give you is my best. 
Except when I don't care. Critic, tell me your conclusion is better. Oh, uh, I don't know. I didn't really put that much thought into it. I just made the Lee related to someone bad, reneged on half of what Benny wrote, and made some people kind of fall in love. Is that what good fanfiction is all about? Kind of doing something? I don't know. I like Star Wars. Just... Not enough to care about making you care. Yeah, well, these are terrible. Ouch. Cookie dough! <laughs> yes, laser saw! I'm sending you these terrible fan fictions right now. Okay. Great, now toss it into one of those time portal thingies. Ah, uh, this is my phone! And I'm your wife. Can't argue with that. There, it's lost to the anus of time! Well, that is more than it deserves. Wait there? a minute. Where's it gonna turn up? Mm -hmm. oh. Ooh, look what I found! Oh, cool. Time travel joke. Oh, well, crap. Cowabunga. What? What? Cowabunga? Cowabunga. <laughs> I don't know, just Batman just going cowabunga. <laughs> Gotta admit, that's good. That's just plain good. <laughs> I'm sorry, you gotta admit, this movie, like, this whole thing was just one fun ride to another. Start to end, you gotta love it, you know? <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Till next time, like, subscribe for more. Adios!